guys, it's Genevieve, and today I'm going to be doing the, the really requested American Girl Doll House Tour, and I'm very excited for this because I've never done it on my channel before, so let us get started. Okay, so the first room is the bathroom. So first of all is my doll shower curtain, which you've seen a tutorial on, so let's just move along. So next is the bathtub, which I got from Our Generation, and it came with this mat, and this towel is just from American Girl. Okay, so next is the vanity, and first off we have this mirror, obviously. And then down here on the edge, we have some stuff, like I have this soap, um, a toothbrush, some toothpaste, and a little doll retainer. On the other side we have stuff like nail polish and bath salts. And then on the bottom we just have some lip gloss and a Our Generation little box. And last but not least, on the side of the bathroom we have some soap, bubbles, and a picture of a duck. The next room is the kitchen and living room combination. So here's the first part and it is the fridge. It has mini Nutella on it, which you saw in my stop motion, and I actually, my parents actually found this in Rome, and it's real Nutella, it's really cute, <laughs> so that's that. And then uh, other stuff on top of the fridge is this little pitcher, um, some cake, and some putts and bowls. Down below we have some signs on the fridge to make it more realistic, and then we just have a bunch of random sweets and food in both fridge, so. Now for the kitchen table, it is the retired American Girl table, and then on the top we just have this flower pot, which I got in Europe. Above here we have a little sign that says, Welcome to the H.E. Doll House, and this kind of got wiped off because it's written in chalk. Up here on the top of the kitchen set is Felicity's old retired um, tea set, and as you can tell by the teapot, it's been broken many times by my little cousin, but it's okay. <laughs> Down here we have some little compartments where I keep little kitchen necessities for the kitchen. Down here, which I think is really adorable, is this little old-fashioned phone, and I found it at my grandmother's house, and I just put it there because I thought it was really cute. Then for the actual main kitchen part, there is a sink and a stove. And underneath are things like the oven, a little drawer, and cupboards, which are all very messy with random kitchen things. Moving on to the living room, the first part that you see is this rug that I got in first grade, and it's just kind of here now. Over here I have this little potted plant which I found at my local Michael's Craft Store. And right over here we have a little coffee table that I made. It has a little mug from American Girl and a little house figure at the bottom. And then right here we have the um, uh, fireplace which I got from Adina and Bina tutorial. So you should definitely go check that out because it makes awesome fireplaces. And then up on top I have a little lamp that I found at Walmart and it actually used to be an ornament. And then right beside I have a little golden clock which I think is super adorable and a great touch to the room. Up above the fireplace I have this flat screen TV and a lot of people have been asking me about that, why it's there, where it came from, and it actually is my sister's Kindle that broke a few years ago and I thought it looked super cute as a flat screen TV so now it's their TV and I think that works really well. Alright, right here is a bunch, a big wall of a bunch of posters. Right here is a family thing that I painted myself and it's falling. Um, right here is a picture I got from Europe. Right here is a poster I made from my old YouTube channel. Down here is a Aspen Heights poster because everyone needs that in their dollhouse. Right here is a picture I got from I Love Sabi, and it's signed right there. And then right up here is a poster I got from Laughternoons. And finally, to complete their living room is the couch, obviously. Um, it has two pillows, one from Molly's bed set, and the other one was made by E.G. Muffins, so thank you for that. And the actual bed itself came from a, another doll company called Mapleia. 
So Emmy and Michaela share a room. So this one is Emmy's bed and that one's Michaela's bed. So once you go through the archway connecting the two rooms, you come down and see the house plant that my mom and sister made for me for my birthday a few years back and um, a guitar that Emerson played. Over here is Emmy's bed and the bedding was made by my grandmother and the pillow is just a long pillow that I found at a store and the this these two I got at my Michael's craft store and this little coca-cola there I got from AG Pan-K. Over here is Pepper the dog and a little um, animal print rug. On her wall is a bunch of Aspen Heights posters with her in it and she also has a few hearts at the bottom. Over here is a Don't L Dream Your Life, Live Your Dream poster with a little Paris charm on top and then a little monkey poster and a Aspen Heights poster down there. Here is their nightstand which has McKenna's hamster, McKenna's clock, um, a mini tic tac box that you can win in my contest I'm holding, and a little picture frame of Sage. Down here is a little Rebecca book, an Allegiant book that I made, a little zebra print purse that I got from my friend, and a little mini American Girl bag. She has a little Paper Towns book on her bed that I made, and her bedding was my, made by my grandmother along with the pillow. Down here she has a little purple Eiffel Tower and a stack of books, and in the bins are some of her filling supplies, and right next to it is her tripod. On the wall is an AGTube Sophie Awards poster and a little um, production sign. Over here on this wall is a few Paris posters, an Aspen Heights poster, and some other little knickknacks that she loves. Moving on is Layton and Nikki's room. So first of all, in the corner of their room, they have a little laundry basket with a few doll clothes that I don't really use that often. Next is Layton's bed, and underneath is N Nikki's trendle bed. And so, first of all, this bed I got from Art Generation um, when I got my first doll, so back in 2007, so it's pretty old. And the bedding is from McKenna's loft bed, and the two stuffed animals, this one is from Disney, and the other one is from a dollar store that I got in Canada. On the floor is just a little green rug from McKenna's loft bed. Her bedside table is just from the pet wash set stand. Underneath is um, the Art Generation computer, and on top is a little Starbucks from Laughter Noon's Contest, and a little blue clock, some colored pencils, and a lamp from McKenna's loft bed. And at the end of her room, she has a little chair with a mini Izzy on it. On the wall, she has a bunch of Laughter Noon's posters and some paintings from Sage's paintings. Then over by the chair is a huge Aspen Heights fan wall, cause who doesn't love Aspen Heights? The next room and last room is Robin's bedroom. So first of all, she has a little jewelry tree with a few little cute knickknacks on it. Then she has her bed, which is Molly's bed that I painted blue, and she has some a white cover with a pillow I made and a floor pillow from a Kenneth Loth bed, along with a little stuffed animal horse and a Mac. Next to her bed are just a few storage bins. On her wall is a hope sign and a few travel posters, along with some of her drawings on this wall. On this is her shelf, which has a bunch of books and other stuff. So at the bottom there is a Isabel book and a mini Izzy doll. Then there's the Fault in Our Stars and Paper Towns. And up here is To Kill a Mockingbird and a Little Birdhouse. And then here is Catching Fire and Hunger Games. And up here is Divergent with a little frog. And over here is a door with two little travel posters. And last but not least, she has a big library scene on her wall because she loves to read.